Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where I'll show you how I've set up FM22 for my new non-league Let's Play series Grassroots to Glory. So if this is the sort of video you like to watch, please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe and just help us creators reach a much wider audience. Now I'm going to go and get FM22 loaded, so I'll be back in a jiffy and I'll show you how you can take control of a non-league club in Football Manager 2022. So you've loaded FM22, you've hit start new game and you've chosen career which has led you here to the career game setup screen. Now the first thing you want to do is to make sure you're running the correct databases for a non-league save. So you click up here in the top right hand corner and you can see I have some mod files loaded. So there's four from the FM editors team which is the data pack and transfer update, the extended English database, the extended Northern Irish database and the extended Welsh database and one file from Mozza, which is the real life full Scottish pyramid. As always, links to these downloads will be available in the description below, but the reason I've chosen these da databases is to give myself a much bigger player pool by adding the lower regions of the home nations while I manage in the lower regions of England. Now, once you've chosen your databases, you wanna hit confirm and then hit, click the advanced setup button, which will take you to your next screen. So now it comes down to picking the size of your database and we pick this by choosing what nations and divisions we want loaded. So as you can see I've only got England down to League 2 at the moment and that gives us 14,840 players. So if you can click add and remove leagues and you want to load the home nations first, so Ireland, Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales, click confirm. And then you want to make sure these are all down to the lowest possible division. You can see there's a lot more here than on the base game as we've added the custom databases. So once you've got them all down to their lowest possible divisions, head back to add and remove leagues. And you want to add the rest of the major European leagues. So France, Germany, Italy and Spain. Click confirm. Again, add these down to their lowest possible divisions. So the free league and above. You want Serie C and above, and the Spanish Federation Second Division and above, but you want to make these view only. This can, of course, be changed at any point within your save. You can choose to add leagues, remove leagues, add nations, remove nations, but this will only take hold at the end of your current season. Now we've got what divisions and nations we want loaded in our database. It's time to look at the player count. So you go up to the top right hand corner here and click Advanced. And you want to go to continents, Europe, and add players with a national reputation. You want to come down to regions. As we're doing a UK save, you want UK and Ireland. And we want to add players that are based in the nation and players of nationality. Click OK. And now you can see we have a player count of just over 64,000. A much bigger player count than before, which gives us a huge pool of players to hopefully bring in some new signings to your non-league club. So once you've done all this, click start game and you will be taken to the next screen where you choose your team. So now it's time to pick your profile and choose your team. Here you can see Virtual Truman Goo, the handsome devil that he is. So you're going to want to click on use profile. This will then take you to a list of clubs, which will automatically be set at the club you chose as your favorite while setting up your profile. So to change this, you want to head to the drop down menu at the top left hand side here. And this is where it really becomes a matter of preference because you're not all going to want to manage the same club that I do. But I know my club plays in tier nine of English football. So we want to head to England here. We want to head to the counties leagues and then click on the Wessex League. And you'll see a list of teams that play in your chosen division. So I want to use Moneyfield. And then we want to click on managerial style where we'll really determine the attributes of our manager. So we've reached the final stage in setting up your FM22 non-league save and that is choosing your managerial style. And this again is very much a matter of preference as I know some people like to go with the past playing experience of a Sunday league footballer with no coaching badges. 
I just feel this is a little bit unrealistic as if you're going to be managing a non-league team, you're going to have some form of knowledge or playing experience of that level. Therefore, I've chosen to go for past playing experience of a semi-professional footballer with a National C licence. This is, of course, the lowest licence you can get, which can be improved over the course of your save if you're successful and your board agreed to send you on some coaching courses. Now, when we look at attributes, they're split into two categories. So we're going to look at the coaching attributes first. And there are some attributes that I find less important than others, which are goalkeeper distribution, goalkeeper handling, goalkeeper shot stopping and fitness. The reason for this is because although you don't get much staff at a non-league club, you will no doubt employ a fitness coach and a goalkeeping coach who can take care of these things for you. So I like to concentrate on the attacking and defending attributes also the tactical, mental, technical and a couple on working with youngsters. Now we look at the mental attributes and again there are some that I find less important than others. Adaptability, people management and level of discipline. I much prefer to add my attributes to the important ones such as determination, player knowledge, youngster knowledge and motivation. So once you've got that set up exactly how you want it, click continue, click start playing and there'll be a short delay after which you should be a fully fledged non-league manager on FM22. So there we have it guys, I've shown you how I set up for my FM22 non-league Let's Play series, Grassroots to Glory. If you found this video helpful, then please give it a massive thumbs up and let me know down in the comments who you've chosen to take charge of for your non-league save. Now that wraps it up for me today, there's just one thing left to say and that's thank you for watching and I'll see you again real soon for another FM22 tutorial.